Zenfolio Portfolio Tutorial. Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to use Zenfolio. Zenfolio is a platform that is perfect to start your photography business as it offers numerous features. You'll be able to create a gallery. You can also build a website which I'll be showing you how to do and you can start selling your photos. To get started, you're going to go onto Zenfolio.com or I'll be leaving a link in the description and you're going to tap on start free trial. After tapping on start free trial, you will be redirected to the sign up page. From here, you can enter your first name, then email address and create a password. Once you're signed up, you can put in your studio or business name. So I'm just going to call mine Jason Tutorials. So I'll type that in right here. Then you'll tap on next. After tapping on next, what best describes your style of photography, you can select whichever option. So let's say for example, I were to select wedding, then I'll tap on next. After you have done that, you will be redirected to your Zenfolio dashboard. Once on your Zenfolio dashboard, the first thing I want you to do is create a gallery. To create a gallery, you can either tap on add a gallery in the top right hand corner, or you can tap on create a gallery in the pop up. So you're going to tap on create gallery and you will see a sample gallery that is currently there. To add your gallery, all you'll need to do is tap on add gallery in the top right hand corner. Then you can give the gallery a name. You can select the shoot date by tapping on the calendar. So let's say for example, the shoot date is or better it was the 19th. Then you could add in the description and you can also add in keywords. Then you'll tap on show type and you can select the show type right there. Then you'll tap on next. After you have done that, from here you'll be able to add folders. So you can tap on add folder right there or you could select one of the pre-named folders. Then you'll tap on next. Then you'll tap on browse desktop and from here you'll be able to upload images to that particular gallery. So let's say for example, I'll just be adding a few random images. So I'll just tap on open. And you can see they are being added right there. Once they have been added, as you can see right there, I can tap on the X to close it. Now I could select preview to preview how the gallery looks. And you can see how it looks. Once it is to your liking, you'll go back. And then from there, if you would like to change the cover image, you can do that. You can tap on the pencil icon right there and you could change that. You can also tap on the current cover image and then you can select the image that you would like to use as a cover image. So it's that easy to edit your gallery. After you have edited the gallery, I want you to go back to the main dashboard. Now, once on the main dashboard, the next thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be building a website. To build your website, you'll tap on build a website right here, or you could go over to the left hand menu option and select website. After you have tapped on website, from there you'll be able to browse through the different templates that they have. So you can scroll down and you can see different templates. Once you have found a template that you like, you'll tap on select. Once here, if you like to change the image, you'll tap on the pencil icon. Then you'll scroll down and you can see the images right there. So you could choose to add your own media and replace these images. You can also edit the title and text. If we were to go back, you could edit the title right there and the body of that message. You can tap on the other image, tap on the pencil icon, then go over to the left hand menu option and you could replace the image if you want. So that's how easy it is to customize your website and you can scroll down and you can continue customizing each image. If it is a case that you would like to add a section, you can tap on the pen you can tap on the plus better yet right here. And from there, you'll be able to add a block. So you can see the different block templates that you can choose from. So you could choose to add any one of these options. And also what I want you to do, we could tap on portfolio from the left hand menu option. And then from there, you could customize the portfolio page. You can see how it looks at the moment. If you would like to change the text, you could tap on the text that is currently there. Then you could go over to the left hand menu option and you could edit the text. So you can see right there, we can edit the text to whatever we want. You can also edit the title. 
and you can scroll down from the left hand menu option and you can see different editing options right there and again if you'd like to add a block or section you can tap on the plus and you can see different content styles that you can quickly add and we can go over to the left hand menu option and you can edit each page so you can tap on a particular page and you'll be able to edit it you could also tap on plus in the top left hand corner and from there you could add a page if you want so you can see the different pages that you can add so you could choose to add a page if you want and also if we should tap on the design icon after tapping on design icon you could change the theme if you want you can also edit the navigation you can also edit the color of the theme you can scroll down you can change the font style the button style you can also change the promo banner and so on the call to action button so there are numerous editing options that you can choose from and if we were to tap on the third icon this is where you'll see your free domain name that you were provided with and if you'd like to add tracking later on in the future this is where you'll be able to add your google analytic pixel and you can also add your facebook pixel once everything is to your liking you'll tap on preview in the top right hand corner to preview how it looks so you can see how it looks right there if it is to your liking you'll tap on publish so you'll tap on publish site once the site has been published you could tap on preview site once more and after tapping on preview site you can see how it looks right there and if we were to tap on portfolio you can see how the portfolio page looks you can tap on clients and you can see how the clients page looks as you can see right there so that's how your zenfolio website looks at the moment if it is a case that you like to also add blogs you could select blog from the left hand menu option and you can also tap on add blog and you'll be able to create a blog now if we were to go back and tap on galleries after selecting galleries there are a few things that i should show you the first thing is if you would like to share a gallery you can quickly do that by tapping on the gallery then you could tap on share in the top right hand corner and you can choose to share it by email you can choose to share it by direct link meaning you'll copy the url and share it so you have a few options and also when it comes on the zenfolio you can use their platform to create either a private or public folder so for example if you like to create a private folder you can select private then from there you could tap on browse desktop and you'll be able to add the photos you can also tap on public folder and from here you'll be able to add the images and these are images that will be displayed on your website or so on you can also tap on sample folder and if you would like to delete the sample folder you can do that by tapping on the three dots then you could tap on delete gallery and that's it i hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching